First, I'd like to say good morning. Good morning, President Mean, Chancellor Helm, Provost Kareem, Dean Bielek, Chief Justice Gantz, family, friends, faculty, guests, but most importantly, good morning, my classmates. <laughs> Today is the day we've all been waiting for. For some of us, the wait has been longer than others. I think back to that line from the movie Tommy Boy where Tommy states, a lot of people go to school for seven years and his friend says, yeah, they're called doctors. Well, today we become jurist doctors. I'll I'm gonna follow that up with an apology because I've never given a law school commencement speech. I've actually never even heard a law school commencement speech because I told myself that I would never attend a law school graduation unless it was my own. So hopefully with a little help from Google and YouTube, I can deliver something that you'll remember forever. <clears throat> Aren't you all glad we are done with law school? I know I won't miss actual law school, you know, the reading and going to class. I will, however, miss the snow days on every Monday of the spring semester, whether it snows or not. Um, free Lexus printing when the printers are turned on. The guarantee of free pizza at every law school event followed by the email notifying everyone the event is over and that there's food in the lobby. As some of you may know, my law school career has been anything but ordinary. I began law school in 2010 as a part of the inaugural class of the University of Massachusetts School of Law. I think back to the reasons why I applied to UMass Law and a couple things come to mind. I wanted to attend a school that had a good sense of community, was diverse, and most importantly, was affordable. And after sitting through my exit interview with the financial aid office, I can say two out of three ain't bad. <laughs> At the time I was applying to law schools, UMass Law was not established yet, so it was hard weather to gauge if it would live up to the qualities that I was seeking in a law school. So like many others, I decided to take a chance and I was gonna attend the first public law school in the state of Massachusetts. Having an underground back undergraduate background in criminal justice, I was eager to attend a school that was about pursuing justice and would provide me an opportunity to be an advocate for the little people. And it was that same background that led me to believe that this law school thing wasn't gonna be so hard. Prior to law school, I served with the Marines in Fallujah. I thought there was no way that would be more demanding than that. However, it didn't take long into my first semester to realize I couldn't have been more wrong. I'll never forget sitting in my 1L property class when Professor Clifford states, future interests must vest if at all within 21 years after the death of a life and being at the time that the interest is created. <laughs> Upon hearing this, I thought, what did I get myself into this time? But like all classes, after countless hours of reading, followed by hitting your head off your desk, and ending up at a local New Bedford hangout, I realized the rule against perpetuities wasn't gonna be on the final, and I was just thrilled. <laughs> so if you've been paying attention at all to my speech, I know amongst my classmates, which of you are actually listening, because I've been sitting behind you for the last five years and know exactly what you do on your cell phones and laptops. <laughs> but I started law school in 2010, so why am I graduating just now? Well, in October of my 1L year, I got the call that I was being recalled to the Marines, who was being sent to Afghanistan. I was basically given a six-month warning to get my affairs in order. Once again, I was faced with a challenge. I would have to choose whether I should withdraw from school at that very moment or try to finish my first year before reporting for active duty. And with some help from the administrators, I decided to stay, and the school was gracious to let me take my four 1L finals in a four-day period a month before all my classmates. Because it's nothing like cramming for four finals in four days just so you can catch a plane to Afghanistan. But it was during that year of conducting combat operations in one of the deadliest places of the world at the time, I realized how truly blessed I was to have attended the UMass School of Law. During that whole year that I was deployed, students and faculty members stayed in constant contact with me, sending emails and care packages and even textbooks so I could stay up on my studying, because of course I had nothing else going on. <laughs> Thankfully, I returned safely in 2012, but still needed a little time to adjust back to civilian life. Believe it or not, going from the deserts of Afghanistan to a law school classroom can be very difficult. So I took even more time off from school. In the meantime, I took a job and carried on with my life. Then one summer day, Nancy from the LEC called me and asked if I ever planned on returning to law school. It seemed like a simple question, but I had gotten so caught up in the hustle and bustle of life that I put law school on the furthest back burner I can find. I remember hanging up the phone and being really taken back. It was hard to believe the idea that the school that I thought I was taking a chance on three years earlier could still remember me, let alone ask me to come back, but they did. So in the fall of 2013, I returned, and the last three years have been nothing short of amazing. 
I couldn't have asked for a better school to be a part of. Over the last few years, the school has become one of the biggest aspects of my life. I've had some great experiences with some even greater people. And I will carry those experiences with me as I transition into the legal world, as I hope you will too. Having been a part of the school since the beginning, I feel I've had one of the best views of how far the school has come along. And I can see in this graduation class how great it will become in the future. I look out amongst my classmates and admire how greatly diverse we all are. But I think it's safe to say that one of the greatest things we all have in common is how this school has provided us one tremendous opportunity. I know for myself, being in a state with some of the best law schools in the world, it could be very competitive to attend law school. And when none of those schools were bending over backwards to accommodate students like myself who worked full time or for people who had to take time off to have a family, I can honestly stand here today and say that I would not have been provided the chance to receive a legal education if it was not for this school. And a lot of people think that because the school offers broad access to its legal education, that somehow students are gonna be at a disadvantage upon graduation. Well, I think we all are great examples of how terribly wrong this notion is. I am proud that my colleagues will be leaving school and going right out into the legal profession and be making an impact right out of graduation. Many of my classmates have already accepted positions as a judicial clerkship or at the district attorney's office or the Department of Just Justice, the probate and family court, or even for those like myself who plan on hanging their own shingle. With this school's practicality and its approach to its legal education, combined with the determination and persistence I have seen from my classmates over the last few years, there's no doubt in my mind that this class will systematically change the legal profession, not only in this state, but this country. Okay, so I told some of you I wouldn't stand up here and go on and on about how great this school is. So I'm now gonna transition into the part of my speech about how great an achievement it is to graduate law school. So, law school was not fun, I think it's safe to say. And you can take that from some person, somebody that's you know, been to some not fun places. Every one of you sitting there in your cap and gowns understands what I mean, but I want to express this to the families here today because ultimately it was our families who had to deal with our constant whining and crankiness day in and day out. As students, after you spend enough time with the same people, you learn that misery loves company and it's easier to complain in pairs than it is alone. But the families and friends and loved ones are the ones who really got the short end of the stick during our law school careers. Whether it was missing a birthday party because you had to cram for finals, or cutting out of holidays early, earlier than everyone else because you had a paper deadline, or sleeping for that week straight at the end of every semester. The families bore the weight of all our sacrifices and I wanna thank them on behalf of my classmates. It is also my obligation to inform the families that today, that it's now 72 days until the bar exam, so you probably haven't seen anything yet. And to my classmates, as we begin our bar preparation tomorrow, just remember, keep it to two alcoholic drinks tonight. But the bar exam is no different than any other obstacle you have all overcame to get into the seat you are in today. Whether it was the LSAT or the MPRE, commuting three hours every day, traveling from different countries and continents, or even for some of you, childbirth. As you sit here today, I remind you that you survived all of them and that it's in the struggle that we find true greatness. Now I suppose in my conclusion, I should give you some practical advice about wearing sunscreen or doing something reckless every day. But for someone who's embarking on this endeavor with you side by side, I don't have the most practical advice. So I'm going to impose some advice I received from a Google search on advice for new lawyers. Here are the top five and I will start with simple and go to extraordinary. Be prepared because luck is when preparation meets opportunity. Be flexible and don't ever stop pursuing your goals because for most of us, our first legal job won't be our last, but you can't figure out what you truly love without first experiencing what you truly hate. Don't be afraid to fail, because failure is a part of life, and some of the best life lessons can only be learned through failure. Be ethical. Ethics is knowing the difference between what you have a right to do and what is right to do. And lastly, pass the bar, because we can't practice law without it. <laughs> Congratulations, my colleagues, class 2016.